Miyazaki is a Japanese creative director, designer, scriptwriter, and executive for video game company from software. The first major video game he directed was Demon's Souls from 2009. In 2011, Miyazaki directed and produced a game called Dark Souls. This game was a massive success and brought Miyazaki into the spotlight. He would go on to supervise on Dark Souls 2 and direct Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and Sekiro. These games popularized the genre Soulsborne, which can be best described as this. I'm trying to say they're hard, but people enjoy the difficulty. Millions each year play Miyazaki's games for the difficulty just as much as Miyazaki's stories, which is what I want to talk about next. You've reached the end of Dark Souls 1. You've fought through knights, dragons, cousins, and now you're finally ready to fight him. Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. You step up to the fog gate and walk through. And you're greeted with... A sad, frail old man. Gwyn's constant rekindling of the flame has left him but a husk of his former self. His fear of the age of flame dying out into an age of darkness drove him away from the ones that he loved and the kingdom he sought so hard to protect. The melancholic song in the background reflects Gwyn's attitude at the moment as someone with only one thing left up until the moment he dies. This is just one of the many stories littered throughout each of Miyazaki's games. In my opinion, the game that does this best is Bloodborne, the gothic horror, cosmic horror, man-made horror beyond our comprehension masterpiece from 2015. Bloodborne subverts your expectations by starting out as a normal gothic horror, but then divulging into the more cosmic horror aspects, inspired by H.P. Lovecraft. The stories in Bloodborne range from a well-respected hunter succumbing to the bee stillness to another hunter attempting to repent for her sins. Overall, the entirety of Bloodborne makes for an enjoyable playthrough that no one will ever forget. Recently, Miyazaki's newest game has reached new heights in popularity, and that game is... Elden Ring. Elden Ring is the newest game by Miyazaki. It was released earlier in 2022 and has been getting rave reviews ever since. The world was created by Miyazaki himself and George R.R. R. Martin writer of Game of Thrones. The game serves as Miyazaki's pinnacle, as he has put everything he has learned before into this one game, and it is a masterpiece, along with Bloodborne. I love these games. I love the story, the world building, the combat, the characters, the weapons. It's just so easy to fall in love with the stories, all coming from one man's head. Hidetaka Miyazaki is a true artist. If anyone wants to try out a Soulsborne game, I have one simple advice for you. Get good. Elden Ring. How? Because it's outside. <laughs>